Oh my goodness. I've been a flood forecast in the Bureau for 20 years and this is probably the worst flooding that I've experienced. Uh, so far the SES has been called out at least 8,000 times. Uh, there are around 15,000 people who've been evacuated from the mid-north coast from their homes. In the Nepi and Richmond uh, uh, Valley region or Hawkesbury region, there have been about 3,000 evacuations to date. Uh, 19 evacuation orders have been issued and potentially more to come. 34 areas uh, or 30, up to 38 areas uh, have already been uh, regarded as disaster, natural disaster areas, which means people People in those communities and local government in those communities can get assistance. That means up to $1,000 each for adults and $400 for children. And uh, we thank the Commonwealth Government for working with the state government in making that available. Uh, the situation is evolving. The heavy rainfalls are going to continue. And uh, we, are, we are now seeing alerts issued for weather warnings for the Illawarra and South Coast. And I just want to say to everybody across the state who is currently uh, living in fear and anxiety that um, all of us are thinking of you. Some communities who were battered by the bushfires are now being battered by the floods, um, and deep drought prior to that. And I don't know any time in our state's history when we've had these extreme weather conditions in such quick succession in the middle of a pandemic. So they are challenging times for New South Wales, but I think we've also demonstrated our capacity to be resilient. But I know for many people, um, they will feel like it's breaking point. Uh, when you've been through um, three or four incidents which are life changing on top of each other, it can uh, make you feel like you're at breaking point. But please know we're thinking of you and we're getting support as much as we can.